Albert Grande here. I'm talking to my old buddy, Glenn Zybulski. Hey, the last time we saw you was in Hawaii. Wahiawa. <laughs> Wahiawa. Wahiawa. And now here we are at Pizza Expo. How are you doing, Glenn? Doing great. All you know, right. Pizza Expo, it's, it's the best time of the year for all of us. You know, we get to see our old friends and make new ones. And yeah, and this right. is the first time I've been uh, baking at the California Milk Advisory Board's booth, so I'm stoked about that. That I is love awesome. California cheese. You're yeah. making amazing pizzas. Yep, I love thank you. your crust. I yep. begged you before for the recipe. You said it's proprietary, Albert. If Albert, I tell you, I'd have to kill you. Albert, you can email me. I'll send you my recipe. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Yep. What's new with you, Glenn? What's going on? Um, you know, uh, a lot of consulting. I, you know, I sold my last brand in, in, in 2019 and um, want to settle down and, and focus a little bit more on, on teaching um, and not just teaching you know, pizza uh, making or pasta making, but the, the new culinary center, it's gonna be part of our nonprofit, Chefs Feeding Kids. And uh, we're going to um, not only serve professionals in the industry, but we'll have three kitchens, one fully uh, mic'd and, and videos for, for content making. Um, we're gonna bring in under uh, um, disadvantaged youth to teach them uh, the, not only the joy of cooking, but how to create healthy foods. And we're gonna take a lot of the, the young adults that don't have the physical, the, the physical means of, of, of you know, getting an education in culinary, and the nonprofit will be able to fund their teaching, and not only just about charcuterie or pasta or, or, or breads or pizza, but also the business side of restaurants. I mean, you know, I've closed restaurants because they didn't work. You have to look in the mirror and say, what didn't you know? And why that happened. We need to put more young adults that have the passion for food into our industry, and they need to be educated to know what their prime costs are, know how to run a, a restaurant, know what their management uh, skills are, and teach them more of that. So it's a very rounded uh, culinary center. We're gonna have a lot of fun, and the biggest thing is that we hope we make an impact um, on the restaurant business in a positive way. Now, educated people will do that. Great. The culinary center is going to be an actual physical space. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about that. How you developed it? Where well, it's, it's located? It's been in development a long time. Um, right now, again, we're the the 501c3 is going to help us raise capital to to, to build it, um, and it's going to be in Santa Rosa. We've already picked out a location, uh, 50, uh, 10 to 15 thousand square feet three kitchens, so there's gonna be a production kitchen, there's going to be a training kitchen, and there's also gonna be another training kitchen. All three of them you'll be able to train in, but one's gonna be specific for videoing and, and content. And then we're gonna have a small um, manufacturing center where we'll be able to do prepared foods in small runs um, for clients, for people that wanna come and do that kind of, uh, um, need to get into that kind of food arena i have a lot of experience in that and that's going to to give some people a lot of opportunity it's very expensive to do uh, production runs of, of uh, prepared foods in a smaller setting we'll be able to do it a lot less uh, expensive so that people can test their products okay that sounds fantastic you know i know you you lived on a farm you live on a farm are you leaving the farm farm's gone the property the property in pen grove is gone um we we sold it uh, at a very good time uh, last year that was advantageous. You know, all the kids are out. Um, my two stepchildren, my wife's kids, are, 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 are both, uh, you know, um, on their careers and, and, and my four kids are all on their careers and everybody's doing great. So it's time for me and my wife to, uh, it was time to consolidate um, and have some fun, you know, do some things that we could never go anywhere uh, without having one of us at home because all the animals. So while we were grateful for that and very blessed to be able to have, you know, the animals and live in a place that was, you know, raw with, with nature, um, it, it's nice to be able to uh, uh, have some more fun. And, and I love to golf, so 
get a little more golf time in too. So, okay, so kind of a semi-retirement, is that what we're talking about? Uh, not semi-retirement, I'm not gonna retire. I'm too, dang, I'm too dang old and too dang young at the same time to retire. Yeah. So I wanna have more uh, uh, teaching, you know, from a restaurant standpoint, um, I don't wanna be tied to a restaurant where I have to be there um, all the time. The Culinary Center will be different. I'll be bringing in professionals from all over the place. I mean, Tony is, has said he'll he'll teach there. You know, his school is, he closed his school to focus on his, his brand. Uh, Laura uh, Meyer has said, I mean, everybody in the industry, um, you know, we're gonna bring a lot of different people in with a lot of different skill sets to be able to help people learn uh, and give them a rounded out education on how to uh, open up their restaurant, pizzeria, sure. pasteria, whatever. We can't wait to find out more. How can people find out more about what's going on? You could go to chefsfeedingkids.org. Uh, you could also go to uh, chef uh, or glensabolski.com. Um, look for us on, on Instagram. We're launching the uh, 501c3 in about three months and we'll start to raise capital so that we can teach uh, uh, young kids that may be food insecure uh, to, to, to enjoy making their food fresh, be healthier, um, and have a, uh, a career in, in culinary, hopefully. Okay. You know, Glenn, I have one final question, a burning question. When are you coming back to Hawaii? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I talked to Patrick the other day, and. and uh, so I'll get back to Hawaii soon. It's been a long time. The only regret I have for coming from last time uh, was I didn't get to get in the water. Right. And you know I've been surfing since I was 12 years old. So um, uh, Patrick said next time I, he comes out, we're going to grab some long boards and go out to Waikiki and have some nice rides. Okay. Glenn, thank you so much. You got it. All the best to you. You too, Albert. Appreciate you. Thank you.